This is a story I got from Input Watson's book and uh, I told you about it in the story before and it's about how to dance. Well it so happened there was a school dance coming and Ian was about 15 years old and he really was good at many things but dancing wasn't one of them. So he went to the local shop and found a book on dancing. Now in those days, long ago, there wasn't any internet, no YouTube, but you could get a book in a series and there were black and yellow books and they were how to do almost anything, teach yourself too. And of course there was one called teach yourself to ballroom dance. Well, at the back you could fold out instructions and you laid them on the carpet and it showed exactly where to place your feet and it told you what records to get and exactly how to hold your hands etc. So there was Ian with a pillow practicing how to dance and how to put his feet listening to the music and after about a month he was fairly confident there were two dances he could actually do very well. So it came to the school dance and there was one girl he liked a lot and she was a very good dancer but he chose one of the dances that he could do and decided to ask her. Well when the music started he tried to remember everything he could from the book and move his feet but it was so jerky and it just wasn't working at all and then something happened quite wonderful. He relaxed and it turned out of course that this girl was an excellent dancer and as he relaxed he found that her movements were so good and so confident that he was able to move too and he was able to dance very well. He put it this way, he said, some of her grace rubbed off on me and we were able to dance incredibly well. And he went on to use this as an analogy and say, well, it's a bit like God. When we come to him, if we've practiced so hard trying to do our own things, learn everything off by heart, make sure we've got it perfect and then present it to him, it usually ends in disaster. But if we allow him to take hold of us, embrace us in his dance and follow his lead, it's amazing how wonderful life can be. So the answer is, let some of God's grace rub off on you and your life may be fully abundant. And that's the story.